Daniel, in Hebrew, Daniel, means God is my judge. This name reflects the key finding of the book of Daniel, that God is sovereign, the king of kings, and that even though human kings may rule as absolute monarchs, God is the final judge over all. In Daniel 1 through 6, he explores the sovereign care of God over Daniel and his three friends from Judah. Even in their exile, God as their sovereign Lord preserves them and protects them from their enemies. These chapters also describe how three of the four leaders who rule during Daniel's time come face to face with God as their sovereign. Nebuchadnezzar is humbled unto madness by God until he bows his knees and becomes a man of true faith. Belshazzar profanes the temple vessels belonging to God and sees the hand of God writing out the immediate judgment on his sin. And Darius comes to faith by watching God deliver Daniel in the lion's den. Now in Daniel 7 through 12, he presents the sovereignty of God in the future, both in terms of the 69 weeks of years leading up to Messiah's first coming, and in the 70th week, culminating in the Messiah's second coming. The words of these prophecies are true, since over 100 prophecies of chapter 11 alone have already been fulfilled in detail in history. Daniel's prophetic words stand true, and taken together with Revelation, they present a true picture of history, both in our past and in our future.